All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unranked to Master series, guys. We are currently in episode 28, and currently in the standing, we've got a 100% win rate. We've got 28 games won right now. Uh, we're currently playing in silver. We're playing against a bunch of silver 3, silver 2 players. So that's currently the standing in this game. Um, but with that being said, we're playing as a Garen right now. It's going to be interesting. Uh, now, the best runes you can take in the Garen matchup is going to be Conqueror with Triumph, Alacrity, Less End, Gathering Storm, and also Transcendence. Now, for the entire build, I think that this game specifically, I'm probably just going to go for uh, Core Drinker into Black Lever or maybe Hydra. It kind of depends on how hard I'm going to snowball this game. <clears throat> but I like to go for Gorching and Hydra. Even after the nerfs have been done, the two item combination, it still feels pretty good. Uh, just the healing is kind of gone now, but it's still good. Okay, this is a Garen with bone plating probably, so I'm just going to trade him here. Okay, he doesn't have bone plating. Sure. I think he's probably got conditioning then. I think. We'll see. This is a Hecram in the jungle, so I gotta be careful. So what I like to do against Garen is wait at least for my level 3. That's where things get more interesting. The first couple levels against him is really boring. But once you make it to level 3, you can actually out-trade him. One more auto attack, backing up again. I have to slow push against him, and my jungler is also pathing towards top side, so I can use that to my advantage. I'm just gonna push really hard now. There's actually Hecarim mid currently. I can kill him right now. Ooh, sweet. So we went for the push at level 3. We've got the wave in this position. I saw Hecarim mid lane. I like as soon as Hecarim went mid lane, I TP'd in, got two kills, and now we're only three minutes and forty minutes in the game, and we already have like these uh we already have so many kills. That's really, really good for us. I'm gonna walk back now. Hopefully we can freeze out the wave right here as soon as we walk in. I really wanna hold this wave in this position since I could like uh, I could stop him from taking a bunch of farm. If I hold the wave in this position and he just like farm up, I can always short trade him. It's really good that he's currently like slow pushing it for me. Definitely puts it into my favor. And I got my Jonah here with me. Let's go. Sweet. I'm just going to hold the wave here. I, I'm definitely not going to push this wave. I want Garen to TP right now. If he does not TP, he's going to lose two massive waves. If he does TP, he's going to lose the uh, ability to roam. So, either way, this is definitely worth it for me. It's good that he's slow pushed the wave towards me. It gives me an advantage. Let's see what he's going to do. He's saving up his TP from what it seems. That's extremely good for me. Because now he's losing like two massive waves. Which push, uh, which uh, puts me ahead of the game. Akram is currently mid. This is such a perfect position. I'm going to hold the wave again. Perfect. Just standing out the wave a little bit. Nice. Now we're going to start trading him. Whoops, I accidentally like auto attack the uh, creep. I got him. Thank you very much. We're going to be pushing out this wave right now. 
Uh, and I think what we can do afterwards, we could probably like uh, sit between the two turrets and maybe uh, force him to stay out of lane. Maybe. He's definitely tanky though, so I'm not sure if, it, if it's possible. Oh, he TP'd. Sure. Good. We're gonna go back, buy the pickaxe. And along with that, we will buy a ward as well. We are going to be going for a Gorging now in this game. Since I'm snowballing like extremely hard, I will also buy Hydra. And I think what I'll get to is probably a Black Lever into a Death Stance because the uh, all of these guys are AD. None of them are AP, so it's going to be a juicing game where we can just buy like Death Stance and uh, Guardian's Angel. Arkan Hyde, thank you so much for subbing. Thank you so much, man, for supporting me. Welcome to the sub family. My spirit is not lost. Okay, so the wave is currently being bounced back into me again, right? We do not want to trade Garen here because if we were to trade him in this position, uh, we would force the wave to push back into him because my short trade would hit the entire wave together, right? So what we want to do is we want to have the wave like this. We want to kind of like scare him off when he goes for the cannon. Like this. Make sure to cancel the the, the cannon. And now, we're just going to be chilling out. We want to keep him scared. We don't want him to get a single CS. Look at that. We're, we're denying him a ton of farm right now. Good. Now we can start trading him because the wave is too big. Oh, whoops. Are you kidding me? I accidentally hit a creep again. It's fine though. It's not that bad for me. Wait, we can dive him on the turret if he stays. Okay, looks like he's actually going to go back. Got at least the first plating. I'm going to push one more wave. Nice. Coming to back off. Now I've got my Gorge Inker. This lane is going to be really, really easy now. Because Riven outscales Garen. And we've also got a lead against them. Uh, I will also wait for my boots, like 10 gold. Ready. Nice. Time to walk back to lane. The wave is once again, it's now being bounced back into me. Right? So we're going to do the exact same thing all over again, except this time, if Garen goes for CS right now, we will immediately go in for a trade. So. Here we go. Now it's time to relax. Let's see what he's going to do. Looks like Garen's roaming. Gonna push. We have to push as hard as possible now. My Q is coming in three seconds. I got him. There we go. Push out the next wave, then we're gonna back off again. Hey, wait, 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 hold on a minute. Okay, time to go back top. We got a red buff currently. Actually, uh, I'm just gonna go back right now. Get my Warhammer, probably get like a Longsword as well. And finish off my Red Trinket. And get a, of course, get a Crunch Award as well. We are now huge. We currently have like a 30 CS lead over Garen. We have like a 2 level lead as well. And we have got like 6 skills. And we're worth like a thousand gold. So we shouldn't die at this point. What 
to wait. Here we go. Hackram is currently mad. We'll clear out this one. What is he doing? Wait, what? Did he just press flash? Okay. I'll see if I can kill Yon in the in mid. I'm gonna walk right behind him. Thank you very much. I'm gonna go bot lane right away. I'm gonna try to like 1v2 Alistar and Samara. I don't think they noticed that I'm here. They don't have warts. Good. Winning bot lane now as well. We're basically winning every single lane right now uh, from top lane. So we're winning top lane, then we're roaming mid lane, getting a kill right there, and then immediately roaming bot lane afterwards and getting kills here too. My team is having a really easy time right now because I'm basically winning all lanes at once. Get a few camps, of course. I want to try to deny the enemy jungler as much as possible. Garen's here. Uh, oh. I am definitely... Okay, sure. I'll take this one. There's two people here. Could probably just engage on them right away. They do have a, like, all of them have ultimates. I was just waiting out, uh, waiting for the ultimates to come out. That's why I was holding my uh, my engage. Two point four K gold currently. Dragon's actually alive right now. I'm gonna go there. Learn from your <clears throat> Sweet. I think after this I'm probably gonna go back to base, get my hydra and then go bot lane. Sweet. Okay, it's time to get the red buff, and then I'm gonna go bot lane. You see guys, from top lane, you can win uh, top, mid, and bot lane at the same time. Be uh, because if you win this lane, you roam to mid, you get a kill like this. You roam to bot, get a kill like this. Or even go into the jungle and kill like that. You can actually like immediately win all lanes at once. It's something that people usually don't do. But in games like this where lanes are lasting for a long time. You can just roam across all of them. They're fighting currently. I'm just going to push out this one. Maybe I can take a few kills. Last one. Got him. They'll respawn. I think we could probably end the game here. Hold on a minute. Thank you. This is a quick 50 minute game for what it seems. Take all the CS as well. Alistair can't do anything. This is actually a very fast game. U usually most of my games last for like uh, 20 to 25 minutes depending on uh, how my team's doing. 
But this game specifically, like my team did kind of decent. And I adapt myself to them, make allowing them to win. Let's actually see how much LP we're going to gain from this one. Hold on. I think Wild Gas, we're probably going to get plus 25. Never mind. So uh, we went from Silver 4 with 70 LP to Silver 2 in one single game. Sure. Sure. I'll take that. We uh, we just played one single game and we're promoting twice. I like that. That's nice. We're very we're going to gold elo very fast right now at a super fast rate. Uh, anyways, guys, we got 12k damage. Garen has only done a total of 2k damage. Uh, thank you for watching today's episode. Also, don't forget that this game was being played live on stream. So don't forget to check that out, guys. If you want to see me play live, there will be a link uh, in the description. But with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.